Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Damien Roman from Vision United Music, and this is the Vision United Music TV channel. And today, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I have a very special guest with me today in studio, and he goes by the name of, as you can see, drum roll, please. Ray D. Ray D, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much, Damien. So it's been, um, I probably took about three minutes to introduce you, but uh, let's get straight to it. The song that was on volume one is a song called I Am Possible. So here at Vision United, we want to promote local music uh, and people who write beautiful songs and who wrote beautiful songs and still write beautiful songs. Like Ray D, who is extremely talented. Um, in my uh, um, opinion, he's not just a singer, he's somebody who has a good understanding of music as well which is really uh, spectacular and it's very admirable. So I want to know where the song I Am Possible come from? Um, is there a meaning and a reason why I wrote the song? Please share with us. Yeah, well, it's interesting because um, the song I wrote, I think it was probably either Senate 5 or Senate 6. I wasn't done with school yet and I was quite young in my years and even before I reached the age of 18, 19, 20, I was writing songs before that. There were a lot of songs that I lost, but there was a lot of times in my life where I was very um, depressed or despondent or, or, or you know, um, being pressed down by people around me. And, like, they would always tell me that you won't become um, anything in life. You know? okay. I, I mean, I think there are a lot of people that are going through certain experiences like that. And um, I just started writing songs, you know, and this particular song, when I heard that you were going to record the Vision United, yes. and someone told me, hey, uh, there's someone who wants to record. This is the first time I thought of because I knew it would, it would encourage someone. Beautiful. Um, that, that literally is going through the same things that I went through. To know that greater is he that is within you and him that is within the world, you know. And you might not have, have all the strength and you might be weak, but God, who is the great I am, everything is possible through you. Beautiful. We're going to take a quick break. Quick break. Uh, it's going to be about 10 seconds. And we'll be back to this. Hi, welcome back. We're back here speaking to Ray D, the writer of the song I Am Possible. So, um, with that song, you said something very, very hectic and something that I really like is the, pro the, po the part where you said people uh, broke you down and people were negative. So, I kind of grew up in a negative environment now. And I had uh, uh, my stepfather come and tell me when I played piano, I never played piano in the house when anybody was home. I'd play when nobody was home because he was also a keyboard player and, you know. Uh, and one day I was playing and he just came uh, and I didn't know he was at home and he appeared out of nowhere and he said you just want to show to the church people your dreams your dream is your dream is going to be a nightmare right and that word basically I think haunted me uh, for most of my life I heard, your dream is going to be a nightmare your dream is going to be a nightmare so I think the song I am possible is a song that deep does encourage me and it's something I have a connection to and I'm sure there's many people out there that also have and feel a connection. Do you want to elaborate more about the song to the I am part? Look, the I am part, um, because maybe some people still don't understand it, but the title of the song, I am possible, it speaks about the great I am, you know, um, because we might be weak, like I said, we might, we might not have enough strength, or we might feel sometimes even that we can do anything that we can do, like I myself, you know, without the strength of God. Yes. And God is the one. You can do maybe physically, or Physical. you can do out of your own strength, or with your knowledge that you have and your experience, there's certain things you can do. Yes, but there are certain things that you cannot do with action, with deed, you know. Like speaking a word, I've been in many cases where I just spoke a word, and spoke to God, Lord, I need this. And then all of a sudden, a few hours later, or a few minutes later, I would get the call, I just got this and so forth. So there are certain things that the great I am can do, which is God. 
that we cannot do for ourselves, that we uh, are basically strengthless, limited, limited to do. Cool. And so that is where the great I am, the I am impossible and impossible comes from. So I am is actually saying you are referring to God. Yes, that's correct. So the I when you say I am possible, God is possible. The God within me. That's you know, my, my grandmother uh, always says, in everything you do, they may involve the Lord and the we just had a discussion over the weekend and my grandmother said do not place value in things, material things, right? For example, the war that's happening in Ukraine now. Those people have to flee, flee their homes. Mm -hmm. The things that they work for, their TVs, their keyboards, their expensive whatever. Yes. And they have to leave everything but, you know, with nothing but the clothes on their back. And uh, always involve God and I, I like that man. I am the mm -hmm. God. There's a song that says when I am... Um, let the weak say I am strong, yeah. let the poor say I am rich yeah. because of what the Lord has done, yes. because of the great I am. And um, one more thing, is there anything else you want to share? Well, it's important for us, especially the young children and, and teenagers growing up now, in this torrid world that's creating so much disappointment around us, it's important to find your purpose. And I'm not saying find your talent, I'm not saying find your, 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 your gift, I'm saying find your purpose because with that you will know exactly what to pursue, you know. Sometimes like I, my talent can be singing, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's my purpose where I'm going to end up or, okay. or my destination, you know. And, and sometimes you need to connect either the two or divide the two because you need to understand what is exactly, what, what the thing is that is going to take you to your purpose. Okay, so you're speaking about purpose now. When you talk about purpose, the, the thing that comes up in my mind is that there could be people watching this right now and thinking, but now what is my purpose? Mm -hmm. How do I discover my purpose? And I, I sometimes feel like we have to try different things yeah. and yeah. fail at many things and see where your heart and what your heart is really set on mm -hmm. and what you're able to build on, you know? Um, and I don't know if you want to elaborate on that, but I think that's generally a purpose you are able to find a purpose. It's not going to just fall out of the air or if you think hard enough, it's going to magically uh, just come in your brain. This is your purpose. You have to go out and look and search and try things and, and like I said, fail, you know, yeah. fail. Yeah. And, and the thing is, it's, it's nothing to fail. Failing is good because a lot of people might not agree with that, but failing teaches you of the things that you went through. It teaches you of experiences. Yeah. It now tells you, okay, you know what, I've learned what I did here, what I did wrong, now I don't have to make that mistake again. And finding wow. your purpose, obviously, um, it definitely has to do with, obviously, experiencing things. But also, don't stay there when you fail, you know? Because mm -hmm. once you stay there, you're never going to find your purpose. You're, gonna, you're never going to find what you're passionate about. True. And it's important that you build a relationship. If I can um, encourage anybody, build a relationship with God. Build a relationship with Christ find out from him, go down on your knees and ask Lord what is it that you want me to do because many times we do things that is not even in the will of God mm. and that is not our purpose, that is not God's plan for our lives so find that thing, find that perfect, that, that peaceful time with God to find out exactly what your life is about Cool, we're going to take another break and then we'll be back with you with one more session and then Ray is going to give us, Ray D is going to give us a, 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 and bless us with a song Impossible. So you'll see you right now. now, now, now. <laughs> Boom. Why not join the Vision United Music Project? All you have to do is send a voice note of yourself singing any song to 076-508-0382 and we'll get back to you. Vision United, giving you the opportunity you deserve. Vision United. Okay, so we're back right now and uh, we interview Ray B on the Vision United Music YouTube TV channel. So, um, you spoke about um, experiencing and learning from your experiences, right? And I think human behavior, we learn from history books. Yeah. For example, we, we are these new generations that come out uh, all the time, all the time, all the time, and we learn from um, reading books about like Shakespeare, who the baddie is, mm -hmm. and how not to be the baddie, and who the good person is, and how to be, uh, when you are honorable, you are you rich, and there's a lot of deception going on, a lot of people is, 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 is becoming comfortable mm -hmm. in uh, a deceptive mindset, yeah. you know, so, and 
what I want to leave out of Love the Show to be about is just to encourage people to embrace truth. And as you embrace truth and have a relationship with God, you'll come to see that uh, in truths, you can become comfortable in telling the truth yes. and how much you're more rewarding it is. Because yes. there isn't things you have to cover up all the time. So then you become, your, your life becomes easier. So it's also taking self-responsibility. Mm. So if it's a disagreement between us, Ray, I have to ask myself, what can I do to make the situation better? What could I have done? Instead of just saying, well, you did this to me and you did that to me. And at the end of the day, I'm not taking self-responsibility and then being honest and then using that. So, so I like that what you said. Um, the experiences don't stay there. Uh, use it and, 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 and it's like trial and error. Yeah. Yeah. Differently. Yes. Okay, cool. Is there anything else you want to speak about before we, 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 we take it to, to, to the scene? Yeah, you know what? Like you just mentioned, the, um, the experiences, um, it, it doesn't stay there. And the thing about whether it be good or bad experiences, one thing I always say, if I look at someone and I see that they are doing bad or they are doing a negative thing, I would take that thing and then it should encourage me. You know what? That is how I should not be. You know? <laughs> and if someone is doing a positive thing, then vice versa, that's how I should be. Cool. So a lot of times we take the negative and we, and we store it in our hearts, you know, mm -hmm. things that we went through and, and then uh, 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 but it becomes too much for us and then sometimes even. all of a sudden we just snap on people, you know, people don't understand why. But why not use that negative energy to motivate you, to inspire you and to encourage you yourself yeah. to become a better person and don't stay there in that, in that like comfort zone like you said. Yes. You know? Become better every day, always teach yourself the good from the bad and always like you just said um, be friendly to people you know yeah. don't hold grudges yeah. i like what you said man like don't let the negative uh experience mold you in a negative way let the negative experience mold you in a yeah. positive so way you're not how come on now man that's good man i love it so yeah so 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 and i'd also say Evaluate yourself. The Bible speaks about examining yeah, yourself. Yes. So look at what your strengths, look at what your weaknesses are. Mm -hmm. And you ask yourself, how do I make my weaknesses become my strengths? How do I become better at my strengths? Um, the main thing is to empower yourself, you know? And God is there and God uses people. Um, so yeah, any last words? Um, thank you for having me. <laughs> it's only been a pleasure, man. It's wonderful, wonderful to share with you. Uh, you know, when you speak, you know, people make a lot of jokes and and but there are certain words that when they speak it's important to listen to and you one of it, those people I recognize you as that so I hope you are blessed by this interview yes. and I hope that you have something to think about and ponder on and please support Ray D's music um, there's a vision in other volume one and you are on volume five as well so uh, we'll I'll play a few, few clips in between and, and, and samples of the songs but yeah we are Vision United giving you the opportunity to do this work. This is just a message for everybody who's listening, who's watching. Believe that greater is He that is within you than Him that is within the world. They said that I always fail that I'm not qualified to be something in life And they said it's better to give up Cause God won't answer Oh no He won't See I almost believed Every word that they said I had made up my mind to give in But deep down in my soul God let me know I am possible Yeah And that I can I can do all oh, things oh, oh. The price is written me I am possible I am possible God lives in me Hallelujah, God lives within you mm. See, they said That I always fail that I'm not qualified to be something in life They said it's better to give up Cause God won't answer Oh no he won't See I almost believed 
every word that they said I was ready to throw in the towel But deep down in my soul God let me know that I am You need to know that you can do all things I can do all things Through Christ Yeah From this moment, speak to yourself, say, I shall not be moved. The enemy will come, but God will approve my victory because my life is in His hands, and I don't have to worry because He holds the master plan. And sickness, it can destroy me. Speak to yourself. See, poverty won't bring you down Abuse, it won't hurt me Negativity won't turn my life around Say, it can destroy me Say, poverty, it won't bring me down Tell your abuse, your abuse you won't hurt me no more. Whatever I've faced me. in my life, negativity, negativity. won't turn my life around. To sickness, oh, it can destroy. Trial that you faced that is brought up against you. 